This is Solid Signal's guide to assembling the Televez Yagi B3 VHF antenna. The Yagi B3 is designed to give you standalone VHF performance and be combined with a UHF antenna so you get all the free HD TV channels that you want. What they don't tell you in the install guide is that you're going to need to turn this antenna upside down quite a few times to make sure that you are putting the bolts in the right direction. You want to make sure that all the bolt heads are on the same side and all the nuts are on the same side. Let's get started. You'll only need two tools here, a 10 millimeter box wrench or adjustable wrench and a box cutter. Let's get started. Step one in the instructions has you taking the reflectors and directors and turning them 90 degrees. What you'll need to do is loosen some of these bolts just a little bit to allow them to rotate. Once you do that, it's fairly easy. Now here's a bit of an admission. I actually did step two before step one and you'll see it in the video. Step two is assembling the two parts of the antenna by taking the two aluminum pieces, re completely removing the bolt in one, and then bolting everything together. As I said, make sure all the bolt heads are on one side and all the nuts are on the other. You're going to see here that this is the first time, and certainly not the last, that I'm turning this antenna upside down in order to make sure that I'm assembling it properly. Step three has you taking the cartridge and actually attaching it to the antenna boom. There's a couple of things here they don't tell you. First of all, they don't tell you that the antenna boom must be pointed so that the cable is toward the back of the antenna. The second thing they don't tell you is that there's a little pin to make sure that everything fits right in there correctly. They also don't tell you that the cartridge side of the antenna needs to be on the opposite end from the reflectors. You can see here the cartridge is on the top, the reflectors are on the bottom. To help you do this right, there's two holes on one side of the antenna and only one hole on the other. That second hole goes in the pin in the cartridge. Let's take a look at how this is done. Make sure that everything is placed properly and once you really have it in place right, snap it in. Be firm, but obviously try not to break the plastic because that doesn't work so well. It kind of pivots on that pin and snaps right down so the pin goes right into the aluminum. Then. Take the supplied bolt, feed it through, it really doesn't matter which side is which in this particular case, and tighten it down. In step four, what they're trying to tell you is that the last reflector, the one that's past the cartridge, isn't attached when you get the antenna. You need to actually detach the little clip, put the pin that's in the clip in the hole that's in the reflector, and put the whole thing back on. It's fairly straightforward if you understand what they're trying to say here. The thing you can't do is just slide it in. So you've got to put that in, place it down, and like I said, you're going to end up turning everything over upside down a few times to make this work. In step five, you take the U-bolt and mounting assembly completely apart, put it on the antenna, and then put it on the mast. Personally, I found it easier to actually put the U-bolt assembly on the mast first, disassemble it, and then reassemble it once it's up on the mast. Here you can see the U-bolt assembly has already been attached to the mast. And on the other side what you see is the bracket that holds the entire thing onto the antenna. Here you see it needs to be completely disassembled in order for this whole thing to go onto the antenna and hold the antenna down. What you see here is that you place the antenna on and with your other hand you put that bracket on, bolt it down nice and tight and keep it nice and level. In their final picture, they show the antenna not quite being level, and I don't quite understand why. This is what the antenna looks like when it's level. You do need to connect an antenna cable to it. It comes with a screw-on F connector, or you can use your own cable with connector already attached. It comes with a weather boot, but it does not come with what you'll need for grounding. Remember, observe all grounding ordinances. That's all it takes. Once you have the antenna assembled, installed, and mounted, you're probably going to want to combine it with the UHF antenna pointed in a slightly different direction, and you can use products available at Solid Signal to do that.